made our way over to uh, Nat Bailey Stadium. Thank you so much for having us. It's, it's a great day for a ball game, isn't it? It is. It's a great day for a ball game every day at Nat Bailey. Right now, the players are just getting warmed up, kind of see them in the background. But once the game gets going, it's pretty exciting here, isn't it? It really is. The crowd really gets into it. And luckily, uh, we've been reasonably successful. So we normally draw pretty well. You're so close to the action, which is really unique, right? Well, you might go to yeah. other games, and you don't have that experience. And, and Nat Bailey's a very, uh, you know, they talk about Wrigley Field in Chicago and the friendly confines and all that sort of Thing. Same thing here at Nat Bailey, you really feel you're part of the action. The stadium has obviously changed a lot since uh, since you took it over. The basic bones were always great. I mean, this is a great old stadium built in 1951, but uh, it had been let go. My daughter Susanna Walker is an interior designer. She took over this project for us and redid the concourse uh, in very nifty fashion, took it back to sort of a retro 50s feel. And the exterior of the uh, stadium, we've got a local artist who's a great baseball fan, Jennifer Ettinger, uh, did the uh, murals on the wall, okay. and we just fixed it up. And when we got here, all the seats were different colors, there were no numbers, there was no nothing. Wow. So it now looks like a baseball stadium. Well, you've done an excellent job. I'm really excited to be here to uh, to watch the game tonight. And uh, your team's been nice enough to even let me throw the first pitch, which I'm a little nervous about. It's been a while since I actually played ball. Do you, do you have any advice? Or? You have a reason to be nervous. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Uh, it's reassuring. I, I'll give you my favorite story about that. Okay. Jack Poole was one of my great friends, the guy who ran the 2010 Olympics. Of unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Jack was going to throw out the first ball about five years ago before the Olympics. Okay. And he was so nervous, he practiced a bunch. He got me to play catch with him, and he was tuned right up. He threw a pitch that landed about three feet in front of the mound. It didn't even <laughs> roll as far as the plate. So yeah, make sure you let go of the ball. Okay, so he let didn't. go of the ball. Yeah. Give it a little bit of power. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about that. I'm also excited to enjoy a hot dog and a beer after to try and relax and, well, and watch a game. Don't forget, down the third baseline, you've got uh, the two-foot dog. That's and, right. Uh, that may be what you need. Okay, well, I think, I think I'll wait till after I throw the first pitch because that might, a idea. might throw me yeah, off a little. All right, sounds great. Idea. I would say we're sitting in some very good seats. I have a great view of this beautiful field. And I have to know, how many nights have you spent here watching games? Oh, many, many, yeah. many nights. Yeah, we have lots of family nights here. When I take a look around, I love the sort of vintage feel of Nat Bailey, and you had a big hand in that. It was a bit run down, and, uh, but I think that we thought that it had a lot of potential as far as a nostalgic sort of place, so we, um, we decided to take it back to what it probably should have been. Course, because what I noticed there is again you brought in this vintage baseball look. I think the signage is a huge part of that and that's sort of a consistent um, font throughout that's sort of a vintage baseball font that we found. Ties in with that look so when you're walking to the stadium you already get that sense of uh, that was the hope yeah of that old baseball field and uh, then you've got the concourse and then coming out onto the field. The other thing, of course, that you have to notice when you're sitting watching is how skilled these players are. I know, they're amazing. I don't know if I would say skilled when I talk about Peter's baseball skills, but I'm excited to see him pitch. How do you think he'll do? I think he'll do very well. <laughs> Me, not so much. Before Peter throws the first pitch, we should probably suit up for a baseball game. Time to hit the dugout. Amazing. It's a beautiful day for a game, Bianca, and I'm so excited to try this footlong hot dog. It's delicious. Wait, Peter, don't you have to go throw the first pitch? Oh my god, I totally forgot. Okay. I need to go. I'll see you in a bit.
didn't tell Peter this, but I've got a little bet going. Got it. Crap, I just lost 50 bucks.